So, today we're going to do a little thing called face mask with me because your girl's got a wedding in two days, Thursday, today's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, T two days, three days, however you want to look at it. Um, and yeah, so we're going to do a face mask because this skin is not doing too hot. Last time we were on camera was a little better, but that's okay because we got face masks. So first, I'm going to take this thing. I don't have any of those cute, let me make sure I'm putting it on right, hair thingies to put my hair back, headbands is what they're called. So I use this eye mask. And then today we're going to take I'm literally obsessed with Origins face masks. Like, I got one from Influencer, and I literally, like, died over it. It just made my skin so much better. It was the Honey Mask, um, the, the black one with, like, gold in it. I forget what it was, but it's, like, the Honey Charcoal one or something like that. It was a nourishing mask, and it did so well for my skin. Like, I can't even explain it to you. So, I went out and purchased another Origins mask, and I was so obsessed with this one as well, but I don't use it that often because I kind of exfoliate my skin almost every day, but for whatever reason, my skin feels like it needs extra exfoliation right now. So, I'm going to be using the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. This is what it looks like. Um, it says, I don't have my glasses on, so... I'm like really close up to it, but it says this powerful, this powerful mask with Mediterranean rose clay, Canadian willow bark, and exfoliating jojoba beads helps greatly deep clean while refining a skin's texture. The result, skin emerges anew. That's what we want. Um, pores appears to vanish. Radiance is restored. Skin looks refreshed, flawless, feels silky smooth. Apply a thin layer to clean skin. Okay, you guys don't need to know how to do it because I'm, I'm going to show you. But basically, it's literally like a facial in a bottle. So I just use this little e.l.f. foundation brush because really, I, I mean, I don't use foundation with these kind of brushes anymore. And um, I just showered. I'm in pajamas. And I just put, so my skin is clean is what I meant to say there. <laughs> so I just put it all over my face. I'm in college and I can barely afford my next meal. Maybe if I didn't buy two coffees a day. Um, I'd be able to afford my next meal, but I just really love Dunkin', and I know everyone loves Starbucks. I'm just gonna make this video a chit chat video because that's what I'm doing, but everyone loves Starbucks, and I don't know why, because I like, I don't know, something about Starbucks doesn't like rub me the right way, like their coffee is good yeah like if I have to have it like if I'm in a pinch I have to have it like if, I don't know I, I never like have to have it but I prefer Duncan all the way I should be a Duncan representative I just I have it all the time I talk about them all the time I'm always the first to have their new flavors which by the way depending on where you live they now have cinnamon bun and white chocolate you need to have it. This is what it looks like when it's on your face. Um, it feels, it's cold. I don't know if it's supposed to be. It's it's really cold right now. Um, it says to leave it on for 10 minutes. Use it one to three times per week. Um, I, I, don't, I don't, I use it when I feel like using it. Um, it definitely does retexturize my skin though like it's a great exfoliating mask so right now it feels kind of clay like um and cold and pasty but once you like go to the bathroom and rub it with 
rub your face with warm water, it turns into like the jojoba beads that it says it has in it and it gently exfoliates your skin. It's not harsh whatsoever. It feels really great. Um, I, I honestly, I just can't recommend Origins enough. I absolutely love Origins, their, their brand, what they stand for. Um, yeah, I just love their skin mask. Okay, so this is what my skin looks like now. Um, it feels so much better. I just feel like, I mean, my skin, I have combination skin, and my skin is really dry right now because it's, like, the fall and the winter, and it's just, it's going through it, but it feels so much softer. It definitely exfoliated my skin. Um, I'm not so sure about the pores tightening. Um, I feel like my face wash does a better job at that, but I'm just gonna finish up my regular skincare routine on camera because I just wanted to post a video just to keep posting videos and I really want to you know keep posting and putting content out there though I'm extremely boring and this is extremely boring I would still watch it but that's just me um so I went to Target the other day and I went to get the glow tonic from Pixie but then I was like okay it's $15 for the small bottle and like 20 something for the big bottle and honestly what if I don't even like it? I've heard good reviews and bad reviews. So I got this one because literally the color yellow smacked me in the face. But I'm obsessed with Clean and Clear. I think Clean and Clear is such a good, affordable brand. I had to cut that out because I sneezed. Sorry. Um, like I said, fall, winter, allergies, dry skin. What do you know? Uh, so I got this one because I just think it's, you know, it, it's really good. Like... Clean and Clear is such a great brand. When I used to have really bad acne, I mean, I still have acne, but when it was bad, I used the Clean and Clear um, Continuous Control, I think it's called, face wash, and it had 10% benzoyl peroxide in it. It, like, cleared my face up in a few days. It was so good. So, I'm a very, very firm believer in Clean and Clear. I support them. I buy them all the time. So, I saw this. And I had to get it because it's new and I didn't even know about it. But it's the, it, it's a, it's a line, a lemon collection, a lemon line. And this is the juice toner. But basically it's for the same thing that the glow tonic is for. It just doesn't have glycolic acid in it. I can get over that. Um, it's for bright, clear, happy skin. And what I really like about it is that it, it it's vegan. To, I or I saw that somewhere. I could have sworn I saw it somewhere that it was a vegan formula. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm lying. Don't quote me. But it's oil free and it has vitamin C. Um, it gently expels impurities and tones skin for a bright, clear, happy skin. Um, it has vitamin C and lemon. Obviously, I really like it. I got this and the exfoliating pads. I didn't get the cleanser and the scrub because I have a cleanser and a scrub that I use on a daily basis that I really like and I'm trying to finish it. But, I mean, I just want to see what this does for my skin. If it brightens it, I mean, it smells like lemon. It's very strong. It does. It took out dirt. Don't know if you could see that, but... Wow, and it smells like lemon, and hopefully it brightens my skin. Um, I also needed a new moisturizer, and I happened to, the bottle won't close, but I happened to pick this one up just because I like getting large jars of moisturizer so I don't have to keep purchasing one over and over. And I'm still going through my St. Ives one, which I purchased a couple times now, and I really like it, but... Um, I happen to get this one, which is kind of the same, but it's the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. It's rich, hydrating facial moisturizer, um, deeply hydrates for smooth, soft, radiant skin. It's hypoallergenic, won't clog pores, dermatologist tested, and it's suitable for sensitive skin. So this is what it looks like. I know pores, or pores, I know Pond's is kind of popular, um, I've tried one cream from them, and I didn't like it.
Now, if it was nighttime, I'd put my vitamin E oil on top, but I'm not going to because it's not nighttime and I'm going to work, so um, I just wanted to get a face mask done on camera. Don't know why. But yeah, we'll see if this actually turns into a YouTube video or an Instagram video or nothing at all because I might not even post it, but yeah. I also need to come up with an intro and an outro. So, let's see. Outro. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I honestly clearly didn't really know what to do for this video, but I'm going away for a few days for a wedding in Florida. As you can see back here in my dress. I just noticed that when I was watching over the footage. And I need to come up with an intro and an outro and I have no idea what to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Just like sitting down, getting ready, talking. Boring. But whatever. Um, I'll probably make a lot of videos like this just because I don't... This is turning into a really long outro, but whatever. I just don't... I'm not creative yet. I'm not... I haven't found my motivation for making like pretty looks and stuff like that I just kind of like sitting down I'm getting used to talking to a camera so hopefully people like that and people want to subscribe to my channel um but yeah other than that I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm probably not gonna have another video for a while so I just wanted to get something out there and maybe you guys could sit down and do a mask with me feel like you had a friend to talk to cuz I low-key feel like I got a friend talking to this camera but um yeah and maybe you guys can go make a purchase like this lemon toner this pond's moisturizer or the origins check them out and subscribe to my channel thank you